So where are we up in town? Um, South Carolina. Yeah, on what boat? USS Yorktown. It picked up the Apollo 8 astronauts from the uh, re-entry module. So we saw the big hook that actually picked them up. And it weighs a lot. So we, we picked them up. It sure, sure looks like one, but I don't know. It does look like it's fully lined. That's Charleston over there. And walk back down the flight deck. It's, at least it's a warm wind. Yeah, true. It's a mid 80s today. And it's a warm Charleston Harbor. is Patriots Point on the other side of the harbor from Charleston. We were in Charleston a couple of hours ago. We went to the aquarium which was really good. Yeah, they enjoyed ourselves there. Um, um, we're probably gonna give you guys a tour yep. of this thing. Definitely recommend checking it on your own. Blue Angels. One of the F-14 Tomcats. Uh, well, this is an F-18 Hornet. Sorry. Um, that is one of the Blue Angels that we often see flying in air shows. Boeing used to be better. That's a Boeing thing, Dad. It is. I didn't know that. Lockheed Martin makes a lot of them too, but Boeing used to be better. Yep. Ooh, Dad, look, look at this. Uh, it's a lot of planes. This is in the Pacific Theater of World War II. Uh, I don't think we ever fought in France. Oh, I think those are different flags that it would fly different times on sea. 95 Japanese aircraft. I don't know what the ducks mean. I don't know if that means it was engaged oh, with. I think I, I think I know. Uh, I, you know how, like you said, like. Oh, aircraft speed. destroyed on the ground are the ducks. Sitting ducks, okay? Ships sunk are the ones that have uh, no smoke coming out. Ships damaged is the ones with smoke coming out. And trains, and trains destroyed. Did you see any trains destroyed? No. Green passages. Over here, maybe. Air oh, group nine. Oh, I found the trains. Okay. Well, that's a lot of trains. Wow, October 3rd, 1945. It took out a bunch of trains. 57 trains to be exact. Look at all those sitting ducks. Look how many ships it took out. It took out the Haruna and the Oyota. Oh, what a good day. One well, this way, bud. Let's go over here quick. Helicopter, of course. It's a Navy helicopter. It's a flying car. Yep. Ooh, Dad. I know what I think it's flying. Apollo 8. Yeah. Dad, look at that. I don't know where that damage came from, but. It was probably hit down. It probably shot down. I mean. Yeah. The EA-3B Sky Warrior. Sky Warrior was the largest and heaviest aircraft to regularly operate in an aircraft carrier, earning the nickname the Whale. 
Sky Warriors began service in 1956 as a carrier-based strategic bomber. By the early 1960s, the U.S. Navy's strategic deterrent role moved to ballistic missile submarines. Just prior to the Vietnam War, many Sky Warriors were converted for use as aerial tankers or electronic countermeasure duty. EA-3B Sky Warrior is an electronic reconnaissance version developed in the late 1950s. EA-3Bs operated from aircraft carriers until 1988 and land-based facilities until 1991. This is a big heavy plane. Yep, EA, yep, that's your initials. <laughs> the intruder. Carrier-based attack aircraft. Dad? These are some airplanes I've never seen before. Hey Dad, all right, all right, all yeah. right. So I got you, so, all right, the same thing in the mouth, right? Yeah. The, the cone's the nose, and that thing up there, the window, that's the eye. Yeah, well this is such an odd looking plane. The wings are so narrow, they're Corsair. Carrier-based light attack aircraft designed to replace the A-4 Skyhawk. Huh. Participated in the last Corsair troop combat missions during Desert Storm. Wow. What is this one down here? It looks like a Tomcat, actually. It looks like a two-seater. It's definitely a Navy. And it looks like it's got retractable wings. What is it? This is a VF-154. Okay. F-14A, that's a Tomcat. No, no, Dad. It's a, it's a VF. Well, I, I, I think that's maybe just the uh, kind of the uh, designation that was given, given to this, one, this particular plane. But that's, this is an F-14. And it's got... This was kind of the workhorse of the Navy's fighter jets. Ooh. Yeah. I think this one might be a. What are you? What are you? A 16 over here? No, it's the A4C. Oh, Skyhawk, okay. Interesting. Yo, surroundings yeah that's actually I think that's for airspeed the distance is Fort Sumter. It's between just to the left of that that white structure. That's a condominium. The USS Laffey. The USS Laffey, that's right. Down here a destroyer. Was, we were just on that ship. One of its uh, guns was destroyed brutally killing yeah. half of the people. Inside. So the guns back there toward the aft of the ship. Those were destroyed in kamikaze attacks in World War II. Um, it, was it was obviously repaired. Bomb, can't destroy half of the gun, yeah. killing half the people inside. Yeah, yeah, that ship was a ship that just could not be taken down. It was, it was hit uh, four times. It was hit by many bombs. times and it never quit. Obviously, not nearly the size of the Yorktown. 
Yeah, no, not, not nearly the size. And it's a lot more cramped walking around in that destroyer than it is on the Yorkshire. It's a wonderful. What? Is that the smallest destroyer? No, it's a very typical destroyer. But destroyers are meant for different missions. Aircraft carriers had to be huge because they carried a whole bunch of aircraft and they didn't have the guns. They they were just moving runways. Well, very limited compared. I mean, like that. Look at that thing. Look at that. Very limited, like I said. <laughs> they were. When they had enemy aircraft approaching, they just launched their own aircraft and. That's how they fought back. There's the bridge up ahead. So, anyway, this is the uh, flight deck of the USS Yorktown. Oh, did they haul this thing out? I'll take a look real quick. Well, no, there's no engines in here. Now go! 